life. <laughs> And I think, <laughs> but I'm not quite sure about it, <laughs> that we are live. Yeah, congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> We're excited. Yay. Hi, guys. Hi, Christina, from everyone who's watching <laughs> on their voice today. <laughs> I'm so happy. So I must confess that this is a first time. It's a challenge for me. It's the first time that I'm going live and I'm with Connie Lee Bennett. I'm grateful for her for holding my hand in this live video. <laughs> Thank you so much, Connie, for being with me today. My honor. I'm excited. I've got my pen. I'm ready to take notes. I'm open to learn. So I'm excited. Thank you for inviting me on this very special moment for you, which is your first live. Well, actually, I'm excited I'm to learn and grow with you. Yay! Thank you so much. It's a milestone, so I'm gonna pick, I'm gonna put it in my calendar. <laughs> so our topic from today and what I would like to talk with you guys, uh, talk to you actually, is how to reconnect with your true self, because. I can see that lately uh, with all the stuff that's going on around the world right now, um, I found people asking, who am I? What am I doing? Why I am here? And I thought that it's the best time now to answer some of your questions. If you have, you can put them down in the chat box in the comment below. Connie and myself, we are going to try to answer your questions. Yay! So, if you are wondering how it's possible to reconnect with your true self, the first question, what I would like to ask to you, do you know who you are? And I know that this is Connie's favorite question, Connie, right? You are asking, who am I? Can you tell me a little bit more about who is Connie <laughs> and how you can find out who you are? Great question. <laughs> I mean, it, th this is a really beautiful question. And I think that, you know, today I, full vulnerability. Can I share a, a vulnerable story with you? Can I have some hearts? If you're watching live, can I share something really, really vulnerable with you? This morning, I was in tears for about an hour with my partner discussing this question of, who am I? And I don't think I'm alone. We in France are now in the second lockdown. You in the UK are in the second lockdown. I know that in the US, there is a lot that's going on. There is so much uncertainty. And the question of who am I is a question that we continuously ask ourselves because who we are is a perception, a perspective based on unconscious beliefs, unconscious thoughts that we have about ourselves. So I'll give you an example. If you want to know who you are unconsciously, you wake up in the morning, you make a note of the very first thoughts that you have, the very first feelings that you have, the very first things that you do. That is who you have been conditioned to be. Be. But who we are is actually more than the conditioned habits that we have created over 40, 30, 20 years of our lives. Who we are is the spiritual being having a human experience. And the spiritual being is using all of the, the, the human experiences like COVID to be that reflection so we can look at what habits we have created that are not in alignment with who we truly are. So my upset this morning, well, I had this beautiful, well, it wasn't beautiful in the moment, but I had this really beautiful discussion with my partner about, well, if all the illusions around me have been taken away, 
the, the, the international public speaker, radio presenter, uh, coach, you know, if, if all of the illusions that we create are in the form of our expression is take away, then what is left? And what's left is your truth. What's left is, is, is your soul, soul's expression. And to me, who we are in answer to your question, which is a really powerful, beautiful question, who we are is that spiritual being who's here to grow, grow into their soul's purpose and then to contribute the gift of their growth, the lessons of their growth. That which I experienced today and integrated and learned about myself, it's now time for me to contribute that. And that's who I feel we are. It's not the illusion. It's not the perception. And, and if I may, just one last thing is, if you're watching this Facebook Live, I, I'd love for you actually to take a blank piece of paper. Take a blank piece of paper because today, Christina is giving you an amazing opportunity. And the opportunity is for you to ask that question, who is the real you? And you can only answer that question if you start with a blank piece of paper and not you're not living like Joe Dispenza says you're not being defined by the memories and the conditionings of your past you're being defined by who you're wanting to be and how you're wanting to feel in this present moment and that's who we are is that continuous journey of growth and contribution as a spiritual being I love you so much, Connie. Thank you very much for sharing you. this. It helps a lot. I hope it helps you guys as well. And you were talking about old habits, limiting beliefs, and you can only connect with your true self when you get rid, basically, of these layers. You put away all these layers of how you've been raised, your culture, your um, beliefs, how one can recognize that one belief, what he or she has, it's a limiting belief. Because you don't know, you have a belief system, you've been raised out with a certain belief system, but it's not who you truly are. It's how you have been raised, how others taught you, it might be other thoughts, other beliefs, not yours. How you, as a soul in a human body, can connect and recognize, oh, this is not mine, this is someone else's. Do you have any tips, any ideas how we can do that? I love your questions. <laughs> and, and I'm learning because, you know, every time somebody asks you a question, you have to think about and integrate and, and really think about, is this an illusion that's going to answer? Or is this the <laughs> truth that's going to answer? And as you were talking, three things came to me. And this is why I'm so excited. Guys, if you are, if you're watching this Facebook Live, please connect with Christina and do her Love Yourself program. Because the first step, Christina, is love, is loving yourself. And I know this is what you offer people is, is love makes you fly. First, love yourself, right? The, the, the first thing is, I, I need to say this before I give the tips. The, the first thing is, how, how do we know? We're only going to know if we're in a space of love. If we're in a safe space. Because your soul is only going to tell you who it truly is when it feels safe to come out. Because remember who you are, your personality, your habits, all of those were created because of moments when you felt a disconnect and you felt a disconnect because you were unsafe. So who you are is actually a habitual creation of defense mechanisms. So if we don't create a beautiful space of self-love, then what's gonna happen is when we feel uncomfortable, and this is, this is the first thing is self-love and the second thing is discomfort. I always say awareness is your biggest gift. Mm. Discomfort is your biggest gift. So 
I'm feeling really, really uncomfortable in this COVID situation. So I'm like, okay, it's the biggest gift, Connie. I'm like, okay. So discomfort, when you are feeling discomfort, what's actually happening is that a situation is reflecting that you're actually in a habitual way of thinking, you're in a situation, there is a, a disconnect that's happening and you're not in alignment. Whenever you're in discomfort, the ego feels like it's being challenged. Like the ego steps up and it's like, no, I've been thinking the same thought for 40 years. I don't want to think this, that, you know, I don't want you to change me. So, so discomfort has to happen for us to become aware. Because when you're feeling uncomfortable, you know that you're activating something. So number one is, is love. Create that space of love so that discomfort can feel safe to express itself. And then we, uh, there's, there's a few exercises that we can, we can do. The first is the, the should and the could exercise, right? Do you want to tell them about that? That's a, a good exercise you use in your program. Tell us about that exercise. All right. So the uh, thing is, you have, as Connie said, another blank sheet of paper and write down all the things, or at least one, start with one, what you think that you should do in order to, let's say, be happy, for example. You want us to do it now? Yes, please. Yes. Okay, so write out at least one, two sentence, it feels I should do or I should be or I should whatever you think that it will make your life happier at the present moment, given the situation of COVID, as you said, which is quite a difficult period for um, many people also on the same time is a good period, a good time to turn inward. And after you write the sentence with I should, ask yourself, how does it feel? When you read the sentence, how does it feel for you from inside? Is it a so-so feeling? Do you feel heaviness? Do you feel ease? Definite heaviness. <laughs> heaviness. Pressure. Of course, like, it's a oh, pressure. I feel like I'm, I'm ch choked here so in my okay. throat. <laughs> of course, because you should, when you grow up or, you know, there are people around you, some of them, good intention, when they said, you should do this, you should do that in order to be happier, healthier, wealthier, thinner, any earth, and you should do this. But the question is, do you think in your heart, in your soul, that you really should do this? My um, request to you is write down, please, for me, the same sentence again, using now, I could. So you start your sentence with I could and continue the sentence the same way as you have written it down before. So the exact same sentence, but replacing should with could. Yes, please. Ready? How does it feel when you, when you read the sentence? much lighter yeah. because it's your choice. If mm -hmm. you said I could, it's a choice. I could do it, but I could not do it. So it's really, it gives you a choice. When you say I should, it's like when you are, as you said, pressured to do that thing. But when you say I could, it feels a little bit lighter. So it's mm -hmm. a choice. I was thinking um, when you were talking about the shoulds, I was thinking about what I was saying in the beginning about all the illusions. Exactly. You know, the, the outside habitual things that society has told me I 
should do at my age or I should have achieved at my age. And, and now COVID is reflecting even more that I am exactly. not doing them. So it's even more pressure like, oh, in COVID, I should be now maybe doing more stuff online. I should be, you know, getting more out there. I should be doing more things like passively. Yeah. I must it's all that outside energy, a lot I more pressure confess. than the choice. <laughs> exactly. I must confess this life is because in the beginning I've been told, Christina, you should do lives. Everybody's doing lives. Okay. Then I was thinking, I could do the lives. But in the end, and here my request is write down, please, the third sentence, which starts like this. To honor myself, dot, 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 do something by doing something. The idea is always listen to your own intuition, to your own heart. Yes, listen to the shoulds. Could might feel a little bit lighter, but in order to honor who you truly are and to honor yourself, this is what I would lovingly like to ask you to do. The last sentence, to honor yourself, I mm -mm -mm, dot, 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 bye. May I say something? This is... It's really beautiful what you're saying to honor myself because you asked me the question in the beginning, well, who are you? And how do you, how do you reconnect with you? Yeah. And the sentence you've just asked us is really powerful. You're saying to honor myself. So firstly, we need to reconnect. And that's a beautiful way how to open that conversation with yourself. I was thinking about it as you said that, I thought, wow, that's it's really is a beautiful way to reconnect and to really begin to see, okay, so what is the real me if I'm not doing what other people want me to? What do I, not choice, but like what's really, what's my intuition? Like you said, trusting your intuition. It's really beautiful that what you just said, Christina amazing so in order to know who you truly are to honor yourself to make the first steps in order to love yourself you have to be still still your body and your mind you have to turn a little bit inward and as you said a little bit earlier to be present be aware be aware of your thoughts be aware of your feelings and your intuition, which is the voice of your soul, basically, will tell you which beliefs are there to help you to move forward, to grow. What are those beliefs, what I would call limiting beliefs, or are there, um, you know, to hold you a little bit back and, you know, just or keeping you in the same uh Place where you are right now you could you can and i would lovingly advise you to do the should could and to honor myself exercise writing down all what you have been told that you should do and then translate them in i could do and to, to honor myself and uh, you already made the first steps to reconnect with your true self to get your power back and to learn to fly. Amazing. Yay. That's so amazing. I can't wait. Can I join your program? <laughs> I'd love most to learn how to fly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the most welcome. I'm going to teach you how to first love yourself because my belief is that you only can give to others what you have inside. If you don't love, respect, honor yourself first, because you are the person who are living with your whole life, you are the person who is looking back to you in the mirror, then only what you have inside, you can give to others as well. If you only half love yourself, then you give half love to others. 
This is so good. I think we really need to change, uh, you know, the way that we see self-love. Exactly. I think in, in the past we've seen self-love and yes, self-love is, you know, the makeup and, the, you know, the manicures and the massages. But I feel that what you're saying is it's deeper, you know, it's, it's much deeper. It's, it's really about that reconnection and the loving, knowing that you're complete. And I think we, we've been conditioned for so long that we actually don't know how to love ourselves. And, and your program is about reprogramming how to begin to love yourself by connecting with the soul, loving that aspect of you, connecting with that aspect of you. So I'm excited about this Thank program. Thank you for this, Connie, <laughs> because you just reminded me that in the beginning, when, mm. every, when someone talked to me personally about self-love, I thought that, ah, oh, that's so selfish. Oh, look at her. And then when I started to learn, I thought, okay, having a bubble bath, a massage, then, oh my God, I so much love myself. But then I realized, oh my God, that's so much more than this. Yeah. Thank yeah. you very much for your time, Connie. Thank you for being oh, here. Thank you. I would it's like to so say fun. everybody who's gonna watch this recording that Connie is my mentor, my coach. I am who I am thanks to her and all my love for you always. If someone would like to connect with you, mm. tell me a secret where they can find you. <laughs> very very good question where can they find me <laughs> well you know and the thing is that with social media now <laughs> i'm on everywhere except tiktok except snapchat because i'm not young right <laughs> but that's a limiting belief oh i take that back let's let's rewind <laughs> self-love um what i would really love for you guys to do is i'd love for you to subscribe to my youtube channel so you just type in Connie Lee Bennett on, on YouTube and I'd love for you to subscribe because I, I really have been feeling with COVID that the fullest expression of me is videos and I'd really love to, to begin to focus my attention on videos and, and this is something, can I share a little bit about what's happening next week? Yes, please, please. <laughs> um, I have really been, it's, it's really been on my heart recently, this idea of, of when you get to know yourself and part of getting to know yourself is also to understand how the flow of your soul works in what type of media. So, you know, everyone's on Twitter, Instagram, Instagram, and Snapchat, and we're on and LinkedIn, but we're doing it just because we should. Exactly. So the invitation to you guys watching is to ask yourself, where is your flow? What makes your heart sing? And to invest your time there. And I'm going to choose to begin to do more videos because I feel that it makes my heart sing more. So I'd, if you found what I said valuable, I'd love for you to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Um, and a gift, the first person to send me a message, I'm only going to give one. Can I give a free coaching away? Yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> only, one. only the the one. Only one. I usually do four. <laughs> I'm giving one today. The first person to send me a message on uh, I was I did say YouTube. Let's make it Facebook because we're we're live on Facebook. Send me a message saying hey from Christina's Facebook Live. First person mm -hmm. to send me a message. Um, I'm going to give you a free coaching session to talk about you know how you can look at reconnecting more with yourself, but. The reason why I, I speak about the video is because we'd love for you to join us on Monday. I'm doing a five day free challenge on how to be more confident on camera. Yay. If you want to know who you are <laughs> and you want to peel off many, many layers, do this course because the camera is the biggest reflection of what those shoulds are what those limiting beliefs are, like Christina said, it's about peeling off those layers and you'll find how to really begin to reconnect you by doing this five day free challenge. And maybe we'll do like a Facebook live challenge afterwards. <laughs> Christina and I will have a discussion then we'll let you know. We'll share the link in, um, 
in the in the chat. Yeah. But I, I want to hear about your program. Tell us, I know you've got a survey. Like, what value can we give you, Christina? Because this has been really <laughs> awesome. How can we give you, how can we add value to you now? I'm going to answer to your question as well. But first, I would like to say, please, guys, grab this opportunity to have a, like, a free coaching with Connie. So please just be very fast. Only one fast. person. Eh? Only one. <laughs> so be very fast to type something. And as for me, um, I'm developing my program. I'm going to post a link to a survey. And I would kindly like to ask you to complete the survey. Um, it only takes about two to three minutes approximately. Uh, I have 10 slots for interview. So if you will be sure that I'm going to be uh, have a short interview with you and we are taking from there. So that would be a great help for me. So I would kind of like to ask you guys complete the survey and subscribe to Connie's channels and Thank you. We'd, we'd love Thank to you. to complete the survey, darling, because I know that surveys are really important for us as entrepreneurs, because someone like Christina, who is a spiritual being having a human experience, for her, her contribution is about serving you. And, you know, that's why people ask you always to complete surveys and, and they ask for your help is because that's what our heart is. And that's what Christina's heart is. She wants to serve you. She wants to contribute. So please help her by completing the survey. It's like literally two minutes. It's super quick. So jump on it now. Like, like right now, go down to the comments. If you're watching the replay, if you're watching it now live, give us one second and we'll put it on. But please do me a favor and, and complete that survey for her. We'd really appreciate it. Thank you so much for everybody who's watching us and who's gonna watch us. And thank you so much, Connie, for being with me today. My pleasure. Really, really thank you today. for sharing your heart and value to us, with us today. Love you. <laughs> Love you too. Bye, See guys. you soon, guys. You. Bye, thanks for Bye. your time. Bye.